Hi, this is George again, Family Therapist in the Early Intervention Team. And today I just wanted to finish off the set of videos that we've put together for you and your family to help you through this quite difficult time with some information on further places where you can go for support if you feel like that would be helpful. So there's a lot of information out there and I've just pulled together some of the um, information that I think might be the most helpful and most relevant for you. But if you feel the need to um, go away and do some further research and find something that you think would be a bit better fit for you, then please feel free to do so. So I'm going to show you a few websites um, that I've come across and talk you through it, but please feel free to, um, to pause any of these slides if you want to so that you can copy and paste the websites into your browser. So first of all, NHS have got um, a really helpful website on if you have symptoms showing or you're concerned about your physical health and they have now they now have an online 111 service where you can speak to somebody about how you're feeling. So if you're feeling unwell, that's, that, that would be your first port of call. But then following that, there's lots of, it, of websites and information on looking after your mental health through this time. Um, simple things like um, healthy eating, sleeping well, connecting with others, being as active as you can. So there's quite a lot out there on, on looking after yourself and your family. Um, so please feel free to, to look up some of those things. Also, um, YouTube have got a couple of really helpful videos. So there's one, um, an overview of coronavirus and how you can look after yourself and not become too worried and too anxious, which is really nice little video to watch. And then there is also this free guided mindfulness session which some people really might like. Um, it's just a half an hour breathing and visual exercise, which can really be calming. So have a look at that. If you're um, a bit more worried about something specific, such as finances, um, and th if things have changed for you during this period, then Citizen Advice will give you all the information that you need and guide you through that. And also if you need to apply for any benefits for universal credit, gov.uk um, is, really, is the place to go and to be guided through that process. So Mercy Care have also got their own specific websites to give you information, first of all, on, on how our services have changed at the moment and what's running and what's had to be changed and adapted. So please have a look at that for changes in the services that are available to you at the moment. There is a 24-hour helpline open for anybody to call, obviously 24 hours a day. If you've got any mental health worries, concerns, and you want to speak to somebody about that, please use that service. You know, that's what it's there for. And also, um, if you want to find out about how you can access online support from Talk Liverpool or Life Rooms, take a little look at the websites that's got their phone numbers on um, and what they're offering at the moment. So that's a really useful resource for you to help you through this time. So as I say, um, there is a lot out there and there are just a few websites that you can take a look at. Please also speak to your care coordinator. They are available at the moment. They're at the, they, you can call them to talk with them, to ask them any questions, to get any further information if you're worried. Um, so please, you know, call them if you haven't already spoken with them. So I hope to see some of you in person in the near future. Hopefully it won't be too long until we can all meet up again and, and get back to, to offering the support and services that, that we have done. Um, and I hope these, these videos have been helpful for you. I hope you've taken something from this set of videos. Again, if you've got any questions about it, you want to know anything more about anything we've spoken about, please contact your care coordinator and they can always contact us as well for any more information. So hopefully you're going to stay well, get through this time and um, I'll see you soon. Take care.